Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, first of all, rest in peace, Kobe. Again, you know what I mean? Don't really like to think about it that much, but it was an awesome ceremony for the parts that I looked at. Couldn't look at everything. You know, it was just, you know, you kind of want to kind of try to move on because, uh, you know, some people, you know, it's Kobe's an athlete in the past, and some it's Kobe fans, you know, and it's a little bit harder for us, the real Kobe fans, right? So, you know, with that being said, we'll try to move on to a little boxing. We got, uh, you know, it's also a sad, you know, moments when Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson Fury. That was kind of sad for Deontay Wilder fans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My lady knew something was wrong with me the next day. I didn't even say nothing because <laughs> she didn't watch it. You know, but knew something was wrong. You know what I'm saying? You look like Deontay Wilder lost or something because she didn't know the magnitude of Tyson Fury. You know what I'm saying? That that, that could happen. You know, because like it was, you know, Little anxiety before the Tyson Fury fight, but it wasn't like the Lewis, the real King Kong, or Ortiz, the second fight anxiety. That's why I was most fearful for Deontay Wilder because I was like, and I made videos telling y'all, right? Hey, well, that's a dumbass fight. You can be fighting Lewis, the real King Kong, or Ortiz when you have to, and nobody else ain't even thinking about doing it. You ain't gonna get the credit when you do it. You ain't gonna get the credit, right? When you, when you fight him again, everybody else can call him on without fighting him. Are you gonna fight this dangerous dude again? All this Cuban background, I almost had you out the first time. You gonna do that again and don't get the credit? People still don't even talk about it when they talk about Deontay Wilder. A few have, but not many, right? But speaking of getting credit, what's going on now is perfect to me. I mean, not perfect. Perfect is another thing, but it's very good to me because now with everything that's going down, right? Deontay Wilder, right? There's nothing they can do about giving him credit if he were to come back and beat Fury now. You see what I'm saying? It's all opportunity for Deontay Wilder now. Fury's definitely the best heavyweight in the world. Deontay Wilder came out. I don't even know why he said that. About his uh, suit, too heavy, about 40 pounds. Put the top, put the hat on, by about 45 pounds, right? And, you know, people, that's the worst excuse you ever heard. The, the, the comical excuse. The, why, why would you make this excuse? Somebody must have asked me, should, should, told him what it weighed. And it took his legs from him. No, that's the truth. But, by my, ain't nobody accepting that. You can forget that. <laughs> you should know better than that, Deontay Wilder. Ain't nobody accepting it. But I don't think Deontay Wilder would think nobody is going to accept that. It's just something he said that's out there. Bottom line is, somebody in your team should have said something about that when you tried it on the day before. Everybody know you need your legs. Well, if I ain't got something 40 pounds, then people going to ask, well, how much of them suit you been wearing? You no. Know, they better weigh eight, eight pounds. If they were anything more than 20, then it was like, man, you knew whether you've been fighting like that before. But 45 pounds before walking up there, having it on 10, 15 minutes before the fight, walking up there, having that on, you about to fight to somebody 273 when you know and your team knows that he's about to lean all on you, right? This is like me Klitschko tactics, right? Shoot, even uh, my boy, Lennox Lewis. If you're too small, you run up in here, I'm going to be on the top of you then. Where else I'm supposed to go? And that's going to take your legs. So 45%, 45 pounds is going to take your legs. But ain't nobody going to have no understanding for no nothing Deontay Wilder says. So that's comical for them. Ooh, it's food. And that's good. Because when the next fight comes, you'll see what I'm saying. All this stuff, Deontay Wilder. Who would bet on Deontay Wilder for the next fight? Me. That's who. Let, let him mess around be five to one odds. <laughs> right? If you Deontay Wilder fans, save your money. We ain't got nothing. Save it. Bet some on Wilder because they put some stupid odds out there, but they won't. They will say how bad he is, but they'll say, well, then my odds are still two to one or maybe three to one. And what the reason going to be, why? Because, you know, he's I got that right hand, right? There's always a reason. Why was Floyd Mayweather going to win? Because he's just defensive. He's the best defensive fighter, not really the other fighter. But people ain't walking him down because they're getting hit with something. But still, he's just only a defensive fighter. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right? But there's always a reason why. Yeah, the reason is the right hand. Put five to one odds and watch everybody go broke from Vegas. Put ten to one odds if you're feeling froggy. And watch Vegas close down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they're not going to do that. Watch what the, when the odds come out. But, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, so many things to be outraged about. 
in, in, in boxing, you know what I'm saying? And that's why, I, you know, I call it BTBG anyway, you know, and that's beat the black guy. I'll make sure that I don't care if nobody doesn't like it. It is what it is. He doesn't have the luxury of making an excuse. Shit, Tim Bradley, uh, you know, beat Manny Pacquiao, right? Got a decision against Manny Pacquiao. Both of his wheels, both ankles pull, uh, you know, probably towards some ligaments in there, sprang both of them for sure. Couldn't push off of nothing. Still in there fighting Manny Pacquiao, one of the baddest fighters out there. The judges gave him the nod, barely, but gave him the nod. Maybe one of the judges was colorblind, like I said before, and just said, hey, man, this is a valiant effort from this dude. Got caught up. It's a valiant effort to be fighting. Nobody saw it like that. Nobody saw valiant. You know why? Because Tim Bradley got death threats after that. Right? You know, a dude fighting, American fighting, you know, hard and didn't give up with two bad wheels against Manny Pacquiao and was in there good enough for the judge to even give him the fight. We don't see it like that. He gets death threats. It's the same place, people. Right? So Deontay Wilder can't be out there talking about that. Shoot. After Pacquiao lost to uh, Floyd Mayweather. What was that? His shoulder. Same one he was throwing in the fight, the whole fight. That one. Shoulder messed up. But it wasn't even the left shoulder. It was the right one, wasn't it? Right? He left-handed. But what okay. kept That one was messed up. Everybody accept that. On TV, talk about it, arguing all the time. See, the first take, just arguing all the time about that shoulder. Right? Ain't nobody outraged. Wasn't the worst excuse ever. Oh, but on, on top of it, didn't call the fight boring, but I say that about pretty much in every video. Right? You know, so could, could I got outraged by that. Hey, you know, we didn't see the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather fight five years. It took them to find that fight. Five years, we was waiting. Five, six years waiting for that fight. And then they just will just omit the part that, hey, Floyd Mayweather offered the man 40 million, right? 40 million. And all you got to do is take a drug test, right? And he, he says, no. What do the people do? They get mad at Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather for asking him to take a blood. In the biggest fight ever, can we have drug tests that everybody's on an even playing field? Can we? Is that too much to ask? Now that's, you know, how it's supposed to be, right? That's all Floyd was asking. People were outraged at Floyd for asking that. In, in the name of sportsmanship and fairness, mad at Floyd Mayweather. Then we're talking about funny excuses. Well, well, you know, I don't like needles. Do you remember that? I don't like needles. Don't he got tats? Right? So it's all kind of stuff going on. They don't, don't even try it. Just people, people can just say and get away with it. Well, I'm outraged because it's not fair. And we're saying stuff that's not fair. And you get thumbs down when you say things that are not fair. Like Canelo Alvarez don't want to fight Demetrius Andre because he's boring. You can say that and get away with it because he's boring. What? I'm a champion. A two-division weight champion. You're supposed to out-boring me. You're supposed to beat the boring out of me. That's what you're, you know, you got a belt. I want to get your belt because I want to be undisputed in middleweight. And you have a belt. Oh, you happen to be boring, but I'm going to beat the, beat the hell out of you. I think it's boring to have Canelo be beaten up on little old Amir Khan. And if you ask me, right? Little old Shane Mosley. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of boring, but whatever. You ain't going to call it that, okay? Well, everybody wants to deal with that. But it was able to say things like that, right? Shoot, Anthony Joshua just got beat up. Now, Anthony Joshua, to his uh, uh, credit, I don't remember him making no excuses after that fight. Although we heard that he had a panic attack. Who has a panic attack? You know, I had a panic attack before the fight. And, you know, didn't want to come out. His father mad at Eddie Hearn for letting him fight because, you know, he supposedly got knocked down and sparring or whatever, all that stuff going on, right? Or Anthony Joshua, hey, man, you know, hey, listen, if they give me $50 million, I'll fight Deontay Wilder tomorrow. I'll sign the contract. Then they extend the contract and it's, well, no. Uh, the British fans need to have it in Britain, you know. That doesn't get your needle. Deontay Wilder's suit is the one that makes you outraged. All those things that we didn't get undisputed fights in the middleweight where I just told you Canelo wouldn't fight Demetrius Andre. That was for an undisputed fight. That 50 million, that was for an undisputed fight in glamour divisions, middleweight and heavyweight. We're not, you know, that didn't get your needle. But this thing about him, you know, something else, Rigondeau. Rigondeau, little old bitty Rigondeau. Beats up a big old Nonito Denaire, number three pound for pound in the world. And he was going trending upwards. About to be the baddest dude out there. A little old brother from Canada, um, from uh, Cuba, beats the hell out of him. Beat the hell out of him, dominated him. 
Instead of hailing Rigondeaux as number one pound for pound, he got blackballed. And they called him boring. His own promoter, Bob Arrow. He's boring. Once he said that, then everybody was able to say, hey, that's boring. Even though he dominated, hit him. He just wouldn't get hit back much. Right? That doesn't get your needle. Deontay Wilder's suit. Right? And all the other sparring and injuries. Everybody that loses got injuries. You know what I'm saying? We've been watching boxing long enough, so that ain't the worst. Right? It's not the worst damn uh, excuse I've ever heard. Right? And, you know, my Dex told Deontay Wilder, you don't have that luxury. Just leave it alone. You ain't nobody going to be... Ain't nobody going to uh, feel what you feeling. Right? Brother. And a brother who will tell him you're a brother. You know what I'm saying? Till this day. You understand? Everybody know how that happened. Right? So at the end of the day, when that's happening, he's coming out here trying to celebrate Black History Month with a big old black old thing. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of ironic. You know, because the weight on your shoulders as a black man in Black History Month. Yeah, you had literally some weight on your shoulders. But you ain't supposed to say nothing about it. Hence BTBG and all the stuff I'm on here talking about. <laughs> you go have some weight on your shoulders. Next time you might have to do it, Mike Tyson just come out there in shorts. Whatever is clever. But you know, the thing is, whatever's been working for the man, you know, now he has to understand, oh, I have to make adjustments. You know what I'm saying? That's good for every fighter. Oh, I have to make adjustments. Right? And remember, all of this stuff that's happening right now. All of the wonderful things people are saying and laughing at Deontay Wilder or or this excuse is the worst they ever heard or he got beat up really bad. All that stuff, all those accomplishments you do, that you had, people will try to ignore because they didn't want to. They were ignoring them in the first place until they couldn't anymore. Right. So the good, great thing about this and this is the beauty about this is Deontay Wilder. It's all about opportunity now. The young name Wilder don't have to come. Tyson Fury is that awesome now. He can come in there and have a good fight against Tyson Fury, and we have to uh, acknowledge it now. A good fight against Tyson Fury, another draw, or barely lose against Tyson Fury was nothing, nothing months ago. Now would be everything. So all you got to do is go out there and don't get knocked out. And if Deontay Wilder continues to believe in the right hand, and I have no reason why he wouldn't, because that's why he's mad at Mark Breland now for not giving him the opportunity. If I'm still standing, I still got this right hand. Now it was coming slow as molasses. Ain't nobody going to be one hitting Tyson Fury with that. I don't believe that in that particular fight. But, hey, give him a shot. What if, because we've seen him recover before. What if he messed around and recovered? And then, you know, I've seen it in other fights. We've seen it. You recover. And all of a sudden, the other fight, the other guy's, you know, he's exhausted for a minute because he was trying to get you out of there. So we've seen that. I know why he feels that way. But at the end of the day, I ain't going to get on Mark Breeden because I think Mark Breeden did the right thing there. But it's only opportunity now for Deontay Wilder and the perception of what he does. If he comes back in this fight and looks good at all or knocks out Fury, we cannot say anything anymore. Those that are looking for loopholes. The whole time, those that are always opposed, no matter what you say, right? There is other reasons why they're that way. The British, it probably says just the anti-Joshua thing. If they're American, it's BTBG, period. Americans getting booed on the home soil every time they fight a foreigner that's not of color. So he's, Wilder doesn't have, if he ain't fighting in Alabama, he's away. So he, that's the good thing about it. It's opportunity written all over this. It's all about perception, baby. So let's enjoy this ride of everybody trying to, you know, handle their business and down this man, you know, among other things about this damn suit, right? But what's going to happen is this dude here is going to come back. And regardless if he wins or not, he's going to come back with a vengeance. This time, you're going to have to sit and take notice whether you like it or not now. So continue to do what you're doing. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.